Hello all, welcome back. It's been a while since we have an episode due to a mixture of illness, um, work, etc. But straight into an update. Things are haltering, okay? Um, I've been in the promotion race all year, but things may be coming to an end here with Reading as I have slipped out of the promotion places with less than 10 games to go. Now on the very last episode, or one of the very last episodes, I promised we were gonna bring the game versus Bristol Rovers, getting my Bristols mixed up, but we are gonna go into game 38 for me versus game 37 for Bristol Rovers to try and get myself back on track. You will notice if I cut to a screen so you can see the table in greater detail, we're out, we're in real danger here. We've just flipped down to seventh place. Uh, we've got that game in hand though. We're only a point behind Wigan in six, um, but the goals is a real issue. Like we've only scored, we've only let in 29, so we've got the best defensive division. We've only scored 44. I feel like if my strikers don't score, no one is going to score. And we're getting way too many draws, look, 16 draws. Um, it did creep within about six points of the automatic places very briefly. And since then I've been on a little run uh, I'm not really uh, turning uh, draws into wins. Now, update, another signing, brought in Sam Weatherstone. He's got six goals in 17 matches. Um, he has five goals for me in about 10, 10 or nine. So he's doing, he's doing pretty well. Um, I've lost though, a couple of guys to injury. Parkinson, he's out long-term. Evers is out long-term. Grant is out long-term. So I've lost two, two starters there. Uh, so I've got a little space on my bench. I have brought back, or I'm trying to bring back, um, Delroy Facey, just to try and get me uh, home and dry into the playoffs as a minimum. Because remember I said, if we don't get promoted this year, this series is over. So we're going to get into the game now. So I will have to put this back onto normal highlights. Um, and then we're going to have a look at this. So in goal, Hammond, Polston, Hunter, um, and Casper back three to play in that 3-5-2 uh, still. Um, Crawford, Davies, Williams, and Simpson in midfield. And then Weatherstone and Forster up front. Forster is by far my standout player. Uh, I have put it on to attacking just to try and get us going. Because it's like, you know, if I, if I can't take chances in March, what sort of manager am I? So, hope you've been well, by the way. Right, so I'm going to hit start. And turn fast match off. So... Um, struggling to see. I, oh, there. We, we had the team that kicked off, didn't we? Yeah, we're going to get the ball on the way. Very, very similar. I'm just going to adjust my screen as well. And turn down my light. So I've got my overhead light on today. So, like I said, this is, this is make or break. Could have done with an away kit. I've had, a, I've had a spate of uh, red cars, or like some of them straight reds as well. Um, this is what I want to see. This is my, I feel like my wide players should be chipping in with way more goals than they are, uh, other than Kasky who takes those free kicks. Um, just for another thing I've done as well is I put the shooting for the strikers into uh, long distance or shooting from far or whatever the, the terminology is. They are going to be hopefully taking more shots from further out the box just to see if we can get some of these goals going. And we will be bringing you... Ooh. We've got a shot from the edge of the area that stung the keeper's hand. The keeper spilled it. No one has followed up, but luckily my uh, keeper has got back up on his feet. And there is uh, Weatherstone with that shot. So like I said, he's done, he's done okay. Still got a lot of money. Still can't re reliably get signings in. They have been trying. Still utilising the loan market as well a lot. So what, 33 minutes gone. Not fantastic, really, is it? Not really had a great chance. Well, there we are, look, he's hit that from a real long way out. Keep missing penalties as well, even though my, my guy's penalty rating is full. Which has been frustration because a few of them, if I'd scored some of the penalties I've had since I last did an episode, we'd probably have an extra 10 points. So I wouldn't be in this position. There we are, half time. 
Nil nil at home versus Bristol. Uh, let's check the stats. So five shots on target to their one. Uh, I had five shots attempted even to their one. But each had one on, on target. I'm not winning many tackles compared to them. But yeah, I am winning the possession. So, so they are attacking. 3-5-2. Defensive tactics have not changed. I've left this on counter-attack and direct. So let's get back into the game. I don't want to make any changes yet. They've, they've made a change, but we are leaving it as it is. So a point would put us, at least for the time being, back in those playoff spaces. But like I said, I've gone from being third or fourth to being out. So it doesn't, doesn't bode well. Going in the wrong direction at the wrong time of year. Mm. I wish he wish he pulled the trigger there. And this is the problem. I've got such a weak bench. I don't really know what I could change. I'm going to get to 70 minutes, and then I'm going to make a change based on fitness and form. Dribbling through, clean through, didn't take a shot. Maybe this is why I don't score enough. So here's my goal threat, crossing it over, giving the ball away. Didn't have anyone in the box though, other than that other, other than his strike part, the way Matt. All right, here we go. I'm gonna let this free kick happen. Straight into the wall. All right, next time the ball goes out. There we go, right. So let's have a look, fitness. So I'm gonna bring on my other striker. Right, I don't wanna take him off, but he's struggling and he's got the worst form. And I'm also, I'm gonna take off, um, I'm gonna take off Simpson. And I'm gonna bring on Wayne Carlisle. He's another person that I got in on loan. So he's gonna be on the wrong side, but I'm just gonna see how he does. He's on loan from Palace. I feel like I only did one sub there, maybe. Maybe I didn't confirm the second. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Simpson, Carlisle. There we go. The next time the ball goes out, that will happen. See, I'm not really sure what to change with the tactics because counter-attacking, at least on the graphic, seems to indicate they get the ball forward quickly. Um, and I've got it on direct. But the, the the other ones seem to indicate there would be a lot more interplay. Now look, play your teammate in there. And he has played it in. He's waited to his people back. They've got a free kick. Can I get this one over the wall this time? Nope. Oh, he's rocked that into the bar. Who has hit that in the end? Oh, it's Carlisle. It is a corner. I've not scored from a corner all year, though, so don't get excited. Um, puts it across, gives it away. Bristol looking to get on the attack, but luckily they've won it back. There we go. I'm almost tempted not to put that up. What a drab game. Um, <laughs> I'd call that tepid. If you went to see that, you'd, 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 not, have, you'd not have any grievances with anyone leaving. 60 seconds earlier there was never going to be a goal in that game uh, let's just see where that has at least put me so let's leave the studio wait for this loading despite despite the amount of time it's taken me to put a episode out i am still enjoying this so i've had a, a two slots of playing this um to get to the stage where i am and we are going to finish this season um, the transfer deadline for clubs in England passes on Thursday the 30th of March I can't have to sign anyone in a, in a week anyway so that's not going to affect me um, I've returned with information about Cardiff let's check Cardiff so look I've got to be beating them Nugent and Roberts up, up front um, we are back so we are ending the episode 
back in the playoffs just. It's very tight, look. So realistically, you would say probably down to Brentford still, or even the other Bristol was snuck up there, 59. So right down to 10th. Um, it's less than, what's that? Less than six points, seven points between all of them. Never gonna catch Blackpool. Bristol Rovers and Berry, well, Berry are well clear. Bristol Rovers most likely clear. Um, but I, what I need to try and do is I'm going to ha hang on. Now, what I'm going to do is if things go drastically wrong, we're going to come back for maybe the second to last episode, uh, second to last game. So game 45 and game 46. If things are going well, we'll come back for game 46 and have 46 then the playoff special. So thank you very much. If you have any tips to help get me scoring or any suggestions, like I've drawn 17 games now, please feel free to fire them in the comments and I will, I will read them before I start playing tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.